Hi, I'm Dave Merritt. I'm uh, 69 years old. When I was 66, I was diagnosed with uh, colon cancer. Um, and it seemed uh, like my wife and I were just uh, double whammy uh, four months earlier. She had been diagnosed with uh, breast cancer and had to have a lumpectomy and, uh, and radiation therapy. And so uh, I was uh, certainly in a kind of a bad state of mind, I guess, if you would, uh, from the beginning. And then as I thought back more, uh, my father-in-law had uh, colon cancer, but he had let it go so far that it was, uh, I'm not sure which stage it was, but he had to have a complete uh, removal of his colon, and he wound up with a colostomy. And, of course, uh, that was my second worry then was that, oh, my gosh, that's what's going to happen to me. I'm going to have a colostomy, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, it was just something that, that seemed almost inconceivable. But um, I think the main thing to remember is that, uh, or that I finally figured out, was that it was just stage two. Uh, it was treatable. And uh, luckily, I was able to get into the hospital quickly. And uh, because they only had to take out uh, about 18 inches of my colon, and they did it laparoscopically, which meant uh, very small incisions uh, with only a larger cut, you know, to remove the, the bad tissue. So um, I was able to not have to have a colostomy, which most anybody that gets stage two probably uh, would never have to have. Um, but I, of course, you know, you think about the worst whenever you first get this diagnosis. Um, the lymph nodes were not involved, and I was uh, very pleased with that. And so was the surgeon, and he said it was very lucky that I got in so quickly. And the reason I was able to get in quickly was our daughter had some connections because she's the head of the burn unit in uh, Maricopa Hospital in Phoenix, and she had friends uh, at UW-Madison who uh, helped us get uh, into the, the uh, carbon cancer center uh, very quickly. Anyhow, um, the main thing that you have to be concerned with is what are the treatments afterwards? You know, whether it's chemo or radiation. And uh, just like my wife, when she had uh, breast cancer, there was a thing called uh, Oncotype DX test, which did a gene test to see if chemotherapy would be appropriate or not. And in her case, she was really lucky to prove that it wasn't, so she didn't have to have it. Uh, I asked the doctor, was there anything similar to that available for uh colon cancer, and he uh, indicated that uh, just a few months before that, the Oncotype had developed a test for colon cancer as well, and because of that, I was able to take that test, and it turned out that it was a very low score as well, and so I did not have to take chemotherapy, and uh, I was able to be back up and running, uh, literally. Uh, I'm a runner. I run a couple miles a day, and Within three weeks after surgery, I was back running again. So I guess the main thing to, to uh, take away from this is that uh, this is not a death sentence. It is not even an inca incapacitating uh, disease if you catch it uh, early enough that you don't have to worry about uh, the other possible consequences. For an interactive tool to learn more about your colon cancer and your personalized treatment options, go to mycoloncancercoach.org.